Chris Bourne, I think a lot of people through the years, oh, he's the best bowler on the tour, he's the best bowler on the tour, but there's a lot of times on TV in that one match final where he doesn't show up. Now, if he doesn't show up, he's got another match to show up. And another solid start for Barnes. And, and Rob, I think that's a huge advantage for Chris. He's such a tactical player. When given enough time, he figures him out, and then he just bombs him. And that's exactly what's going to happen today. He gets two games instead of one. They had a lot of practice in between the last match and this game here. And I, I've got to tell you, I think it's a huge advantage for Chris, as you see Dick Allen making a ball change. Drop and give me 10 for Allen. He'll admit to you, he's more of a, a field player. He's not technical to the degree that Barnes is, but that's how he likes to operate. And you, you can see it in his personality as well. That's just kind of the way Dick Allen rolls. He started with a mission, and he went to a mission 250K. But I'm going to tell you right now, if Dick Allen were to win this tournament, nothing would mean more to him than beating Chris Barnes. I mean, he doesn't want to beat, you know, a, a guy that just walked off the street. He wants to beat this guy right here. Dick told us yesterday he beat Barnes for a regional title about a decade ago, and he's mockingly telling us, I'm sure he's still stinging about that. I'm sure he remembers that, and, you know, but he's, but he's honest. He said, he's, he's my favorite bowler. It's so good. Man, how do you not want to bowl against that guy? And that's, <laughs> that's, you know, that's good stuff. That's classic Richie yep. slash Dick Allen well, right there. It's funny because I had a conversation with Chris about that very story. I'll tell you about it in a second. Here is Barnes strike in the first. Here's his effort in the second. He started off our first match with six straight strikes. And another great start. So uh, Chris brought that very same story up. He said, yeah, Richie Allen beat me for this regional title. For Richie, it was, you know, the greatest time of his life. For me, it was just a warm-up for the next tournament I was bowling. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Chris Barnes, this will be his eighth top 20 finish of the season and sixth in the top 10 as the sixth highest average this season on the tour. And another strike. So Chris Barnes, sixth highest average on the tour this season. You expect that, you look through the numbers, you say, that sounds about right. Maybe even actually a little low for a guy like Chris Barnes. You look up, who's at number three? The guy in all white today, Dick Allen. Wow. <laughs> and a 10 pin shy of an opening triple for Allen. And, and immediately the difference in ball reaction from what I see is that Richie's trying to go much straighter. Chris has already moved in and, cr and starting to create angle. And I think that's something that Richie will have to start thinking about in terms of pin carry if he had, has the same carry problems this game that he had last game. Now it takes care of that one. NBA playoffs continue on ABC this afternoon. Game one of the Hornets Lakers series as bowling fan Chris Paul leads New Orleans against the Lakers who are looking for a third straight NBA title. You can see that one at 3.30. Coverage actually begins with the Buick Regal NBA countdown at 3 Eastern. And, and Rob, just so you know, Andrew Bynum's knee, perfectly healthy for game one. Oh, you, you talked to him? You talked to him today? Or so I'm being told. Oh, okay. Source is close to Randy Peterson. Yeah. Messenger nestles to the 10, can't drop it. See how the ball's just pushing too long down the lane? For Richie, it's all about getting the ball into the lane a little bit sooner and cutting back on the ball speed. You see he's moved in a little bit, but now he's got to give it chance to a chance to react, and all he needs to do is just get a little softer with the speed. So looking for his second consecutive. 
Look out. Oh boy. Good balance there from Allen. We've seen a couple of footing issues from him already today. That was athletic there. Watch this. Whoa. I'd have gone head first right in the middle of the lane. Yeah, that, that takes some core strength and some big time balance because you've got a lot of energy and motion going towards that line to put on the brakes and hold it off. Barnes in the fourth. How about a little hand bone this Sunday? This guy's on cruise control. Looks real comfortable in complete control of what he's doing. Real solid. Richie Allen knows he's in a fight. Remember, this is not two game total pinfall. It's just two games. If Chris Barnes were to win both games, obviously he would be your winner. If they split, we go to a sudden death one ball roll off. Richie Allen just needs to figure him out and stay close. Start striking and put some heat and pressure on Chris Barnes. Barnes, if he were to win today, would be the first player to win more than one title this season. If you go through the history, Randy, the PBA Tour, it has never happened that a player has not won multiple titles in a season. That even goes back to the first season of the oh. Tour in 1959. Barnes, an open frame. It goes back to 59 when there were only three events. And Dick Weber won two of them. But here's a big gaffe from Barnes. It's just uh, hard to explain. I mean, he looks like he's on cruise control. He's throwing it great. All of a sudden, he gets a little quick with one shot and then whips the spare. All right. Much better shot. Not Some enough. Best shot you've thrown today. Back end entry timing, angle too. into the pocket Good to time. carry the corner pins. We've only got about 40 minutes of bowling left. Gonna make count. Let's go. He's got to somehow find a way, whether he tricks it up with his hand speed or he goes to a different bowling ball, to make the ball finish harder in the back part of the lane. This will be his third straight 10 pin conversion for a spare should he drop it. And he does. Nice approaches today. Nice. Nice. Obviously not real excited about his footing and the approaches. A lot of times the approaches get affected by the humidity That's around the set. You guys can blow them. When the lights go up, the humidity sometimes tends to change, it. and that will affect synthetic approaches. Me too. I'm hard into it. Also, you start cramming a bunch of bodies in this small arena. Dick Weber playoff championship. Dick Allen in pursuit of his third career PBA title. A little stare. Today, good looking young man. Met him yesterday.